You are an icon of American fashion, an extraordinary philanthropist, and a model of civic engagement. Who could imagine fashion without your revolutionary and now legendary wrap dress? It's been empowering women for over 40 years. In 2005, you deservedly received the Lifetime Achievement Award from the Council of Fashion Designers of America. Since 2006, you have served as the Council's president, where you have used your leadership role to cultivate new talent, promote diversity within the industry, and protect the rights of designers. You have led and supported initiatives that benefit emerging women leaders and social entrepreneurs around the world. You have also played a major role in the evolution of New York City as one of the first designers to open a studio in the meatpacking district, as a key advocate for the transformation of the High Line into an amazing urban park, and now as part of the vision behind Hudson Yards, one of the largest development projects the city has ever seen. You are a model of creativity, responsibility, and impact. We are honored to bestow upon you the degree of Doctor of Fine Arts, Honoris Causa. Hi. Hi. <laughs> 18 months before I was born, my mother weighed 49 pounds. Why? Because she had been for the last 13 months in the concentration camp of Nazi Germany. She did survive, however and 18 months I was born, later I was born. She used to always say to me, God saved me so that I gave you life. And by giving me life, by giving you life, you gave my life back. You are my torch of freedom. This is what my mother put in my hands, the torch of freedom. And what I would like to do today is to try to give you a few advice that I have accumulated, and maybe you'll remember one of them and it'll be useful. <laughs> but before that, I want to thank the new school for giving me this wonderful award, and I want to congratulate all of you for graduating today. So, you are today in, at a very interesting and very fascinating and exciting moment of your life. You have all these doors in front of you and you can decide which door to push. The door that is your door may not be the most glamorous one and maybe it's an unexpected one, but it's a very important time for you to really go deep into yourself and think about the person you want to be, and think about where you want to go, and then just push that door, go there, and, and get any job, any job in that door, because that's the company that you feel, or that's where you feel that you are the truth to yourself. And then, once you have a tiny little job, Make sure you arrive the first, and more important, you leave the last at night, because they will notice you. That's one advice. Second is, <laughs> second advice is, I want to remind you that frustrations, rejections, humiliating moment will be your best memories, your best souvenirs, and when you're successful, that's the story you will always tell. So when you live it, remember. Uh, okay? Also remember, there are no stupid jobs, only stupid people. Another thing for you to know that all successful people often feel like losers. That didn't get a reaction? 
You will. You'll know what I know, mean later. Uh, <clears throat> but then, at the end, the most important advice I can give anyone is that the most important relationship you have in life is the one you have with yourself. If you have that, any re other relationship is a plus and not a must. And the last thing to remember, fear is not an option. Thank you. <laughs>